All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna cook a new chicken recipe. I bought some new stuff today. I got some dark brown sugar, some chipotle chili pepper, paprika, some cinnamon, apple cider vinegar, and some Worcester sauce. Gonna put all that on that. Chicken didn't fillet it this time because it's just too time consuming. Then I minced some garlic. I'm gonna add it all together. Also got some coarse sea salt. All right. Anyway, I'm just eyeing this out, you know, just throwing it on. Let's put some paprika on it. Sea salt. Now I saw this recipe online, it said add cinnamon. So we're gonna do that. Probably makes it brown, huh? Well, I think the brown sugar makes it brown. <laughs> oh. Duh. You can tell who cooks in this house. All right, now I'm gonna season the other side. And, uh, I'll be right back, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna put this chicken in these bowls. Wanna come over here and check it out, dude? Line them up vertically. Put that garlic on there. Recipe said put a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm just gonna eye it out. Because you know, you can't go wrong with olive oil. <laughs> What's that? It's Worcester sauce. All right, now we're just gonna mix this baby up. Like so. All right, let it marinate for an hour. We'll be right back. Looking good. All right, so I said I was gonna try new meal preps or cooking protein in bulk. So I'm trying cooking uh, omelets in bulk. I just cracked 36 egg whites into this tubware, and I'm gonna throw it in this pan and I'm gonna cook it. Let's see, that. Let's see how it goes. I think I overdid that. Nice, nice. Some of this turkey sausage. Always cooking with one hand. Lastly, we got some cheese. Let's get this cheese on here. Oh yeah. So now we're just, we got it at 350. It just got done preheating. And we're gonna leave it in there for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna put a cover on it. And that's when I'm gonna add the spinach. Then we're gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes. Oh, all good, all good. Yo, check it out, that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put the onion powder on there. Some salt. Some pepper. And 
and then finally the spinach. Finally, we're going to put the a lid on it. It's just a different pan. I'm just going to set it right on top. And then 10 more minutes. All right, it is done. It's steaming and everything. Now we're going to let it cool off and I'll cut it up later. But we got the oven heated and ready to go. So I'm going to pop this chicken in there. Then we're going to cook this for 30 minutes. On 375. Already got it cut up. Just going to separate. 5.7 ounces. Twelve point seven. That's straight. So I made one meal, and then I got all the extra over there, and not really that bad of a cleanup. All right, so I'm about fifteen minutes into cooking it. I took it out. Now I'm going to take this brush and then brush that that juice right over. And this is how you keep your chicken nice and juicy. If you got a problem with dried chicken, this is probably something you got to try. And you're probably not doing it. Nice and caramelized from the brown sugar. Just going to oil them up one more time. Just take a knife and cut your thickest piece. And if it's cooked, then you're good to go, man. So I got my cooked chicken on my cutting board, and I'm using a carving knife to cut into thin slices. Come over here. This smells so good. That chipotle chicken, man. Okay, so got all of it cut up. Now to try a piece. I like that, it's pretty good. It's more sweet than anything. Not really spicy, I gotta, I gotta add more spice next time. But yeah, not bad. It's never good when your car is turned around on the freeway. Oh, we got a E-Class Mercedes, three cars, four cars. Holy shit. Just chilling at home watching Flash on Netflix. January uh, 12th, it's a Tuesday, and I'm sick as hell, just chilling at home. Um, you know, it's okay to eat more when you're sick, because, you know, your body is definitely uh, burning calories because you're sick. So I'm still eating around 2,200 calories for today. That's like, it's a little higher than usual. Yeah. All right, check it out. I got two Whoppers for myself. And I, just, I looked it up on my fitness pal. I found it for 17 grams of fat, 25 grams of protein, and 30 grams of carb or 60 grams of carbs per burger. So if I eat both of them, that just means I'm gonna eat chicken later tonight, and then I'm not gonna eat any more carbs for the day. So in actuality, it's not really fast food that makes people fat, it's just overeating. They'll eat two hamburgers for lunch and then two hamburgers for night, uh, for dinner, and then maybe have a bag of chips at night and some cake and donuts for breakfast. So uh, it really just depends on what, how much you're taking in and if you're watching it or not. So if you do, you will lose weight, I guarantee you. Got my ribeye and sirloin tip. Now I'm at Buford Highway getting some fish. 
trying out some uh, flaky, low-fat fishes. Hey y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the chicken and omelet um, mass production. Um, I just went to Buford Highway and I got me masses amounts of beef and eggs from Kroger. And then I tr I'm trying something new. Got some uh, red snapper, some grouper, and some rainbow trout to try out. So the beef's pretty pretty cheap at at this place, but the but the um, the fish can get pretty expensive as you can see. But I got it filleted. I, I should have a lot more meat. I'll, I'll probably get the steak cut next time. But yeah, that's what you're going to be seeing me cook in the next video, alright?